Hello. Hello. Are you, are you right? Are you? Are you? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Jason Chats Cornwall holiday version. Number three. Three. So we're, um, it's Tuesday now. So I travelled up here Friday, Friday night, no, Saturday, sorry, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, so three nights, um, I guess two whole days, Sunday, Monday, and now it's Tuesday. It feels like I've been here for ages, feels like a long time, it's weird, isn't it? I think it's... I'm not used to holidays. I'm not used to being somewhere else, if that makes sense. Uh, the last April, May, June, June, yeah. For over six years, I've only slept out of my bed in another bed probably twice. Maybe only once, but maybe twice. So I'm used to my big double bed and, you know, half the bed is taken up by my belly and the other by my willy. Woo! No. Um, so I am used to being able to spread out and the bed here is a little bit little. So I'm kind of, yeah, it's just a little bit different. And I suppose anyone that's seen me naked knows I should draw. Oh, you should be used to dealing with little things, which is a bit rude. And I have, I've been going to bed early because there's nothing to do in the evening. Uh, the pub closed at nine o'clock, right? Nine o'clock in the evening. So I went in there, had a pint, I had a pint earlier as well, uh, before dinner, and then I went afterwards. And then I come home, well, put, you know, back to the chalet, uh, bungalow thing. And they're, they're watching telly, and I'm like, no, I can't watch telly. I just can't. I can't sit and watch telly. I can't watch Coronation Street and Emmerdale and stuff. I just... Or even the news. I don't really want to watch the news, if I'm honest. Just got no interest in that stuff. It's all the same. Um, you know, coronavirus is spreading rapidly in Cornwall. It's like, great. But then we're watching the local news, aren't we? The Cornwall news. So it's going to be focusing on what's happening here, as opposed to in Essex or London, where I live. Um, my my friend's mum's unwell. Uh, she's very poorly. She's recovering from a stroke, so she's not very well. Um, she's very funny, she's a funny, funny lady. And she fell out of her bed last night. No, that's not funny. I'm just saying she fell out of her bed. So uh, she said she hadn't hurt herself because uh, about three o'clock in the morning. Because I came out of my bed to tell her to shut up. But I didn't realise she'd fallen out of her bed. Because she's making such a fuss. <laughs> but she's alright. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to see her today. Sometimes you don't feel it till the next day, do you? She might have bruises or something. But she didn't come out yesterday. She stayed in, in the house all day. Maybe in bed all day yesterday. And she was on her own because we went out. So I'm thinking, but well, maybe I'll stay with her today. If she's... She's not coming out again today either. She said she said she's staying in. She doesn't feel very well. I don't know. Um, tomorrow, what I've, well, today, what I've done is I originally booked four seats for the restaurant in the pub, or in the pub for four, yeah, for a table, and I was going to treat everybody to dinner tonight. But what I decided to do is treat my friend and her, her husband 
to have a a meal on her own. You have a break from us tomorrow night, and I'm going to get a takeaway from the pub for me and her mum. Just so they can have some time on their own. I mean, they're on holiday and they haven't had a minute together, really, on their own. Um, admittedly, they might not want that. I don't know, but it's... I didn't ask. <laughs> Can't really say it. By the way, do you actually want to spend any time together? <laughs> do you actually like each other? So I didn't sort of say that, but I thought it'd be a nice gesture just to give... To give, you know, buy them dinner and just let them have a bit of time, you know, away from us. Not uh, just anyone, you know, it's even a holiday. A couple want to be, you want to be together a bit, don't you? Take over. Uh, so, as for going out today, I don't know. I'm supposed to be going out with my friend and her husband to see some other hotels. We did it yesterday and I didn't see anything really. I was, uh, for the first one, I was in the lobby with their dog, because they couldn't take a dog into the hotel. The second one, and I took her, I did take her for a walk down to the sea. Still haven't seen a beach. Still, I've seen the sea, but I haven't seen the beach. So they've got, is it coves? I don't know what it is. Places where the sea comes in, and there's like walls and shit like that, but I've not seen any beaches. And this is the like world of beaches in Cornwall, but I've not seen one yet. Um, so the first day, the Friday, yeah, Sunday, we went to Lou. Yesterday we went to uh, Vega, Vega Moor or whatever it is, someplace, which is about a mile away from here. We were probably not a mile, about an hour away from here. We are probably, uh, hi Tom, we are probably, I don't know, I lose track to be honest, I don't know where we are, all I know is we got stuck in this town, we looked at two hotels and we couldn't get out, I say we, I was in the car, I didn't really contribute um, at all, in fact I probably hindered, we couldn't get out kept going around in circles, couldn't get out. Uh, we stopped and had a pasty. I had a rock cake. First rock cake I've had since my nan. Since my nan in fact, since my nan made them, and she stopped making them probably 10 years before she died. So it's been a long time since I've had a rock cake. And she was the queen of rock cakes. She absolutely all through, you know, my childhood and teenage years and 20s, 30s even, she absolutely made the best rock cakes in the world. Uh, so, but she didn't make them as big as this one. This was huge. I couldn't fit it all in my mouth. I tried, but I couldn't. And I got a big mouth. Uh, although I can't open my mouth very wow, what wowed. I can't open my mouth very wide. My jaw is, is I don't know, just doesn't open so well. It opens, but um, <laughs> it doesn't, like, I don't, that, that, that's as wide as it goes. So, I don't know what I did when I was a baby. I just struggled. <sighs> Why am I going with that? So yeah, anyway. We went to there. It's really weird because after all the running around and trying to find, and we literally was getting tense, we were stuck in there for about an hour trying to find a way out. Just round the corner from the car park where we parked to have the pasties, massive sign with exit on it. Huge, honestly, huge sign. Went through there and got out, easy weird it was such a strange because we were, we were following the sat nav and the sat nav didn't take us where we wanted to go and then they was arguing between you know the sat nav and uh 
you know, there's a degree of like, yes, humans are wanting to be right all the time. And it was, it was strange, like, got stuck. I thought we were going to be there forever. I thought we were going to actually have to settle down and live there together in a tent or in the car for the rest of our lives in this kind of... I mean, it's a nice place. It's, it's all right. There was... I actually saw a house, right? And it was right on the edge of where the water is and they had a balcony. And there was like a chair and a table and the sea was just below. How amazing would that be? Oops, what's going on there? How amazing. I mean, scary at times, I'm, I'm sure, but like, wow. To be that close to the sea, that close to the water, that close to nature, the power, the energy of the sea. It's got to be quite a positive thing, I imagine. Um, I don't know how well I'd sleep. <laughs> I mean, literally just a freak wave and you'd be flo you flooded away, but I like the sea, it's, it's, it's really nice. But very choppy yesterday. It was raining all day, all day and all night. Well, all day until I went to bed, so I don't know what happened during the night. But I've woke up today. It's sunny, but it's early. It's about 10 to seven in the morning. I went to bed about quarter past nine last night, which is not me. I normally go to bed. I'm up during the night normally. So this is very strange because there's no internet again. There's no internet. Although I've got two bars today. Apparently, I was speaking to a local yesterday and he said that the, the mast for the mobile network thing has been down for nearly a week and it should be up in the next couple of days so hopefully it'll be up just as we leave wouldn't that be nice so it's it is what it is I went to the pub got a hold of the Wi-Fi and there was enough Wi-Fi on there for me to do stuff so technically I could oh it's not fast it's about 16 megabytes but you know compared to what I've had is pretty quick you know here when I'm at home I'm used to putting 30 39 megabytes on the white on the the broadband although that does doesn't seem to be that fast really but it's, apparently that is on the mobile, I get sort of 70 megabytes a minute, a second plus, you know, on the iPad and on the phone. So I've got a SIM card for each, like unlimited data with EE. So um, potentially I could make some podcasts and upload them. But the way I'm seeing it is it's Tuesday now. I go home on Friday. It's only a couple of days left after today. So I might as well just wait until I get back and start making podcasts. Because... I don't know, because what? I don't know what reason. Just, there's... It just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have a drink. Coiffe. Trying to think what else happened. I think I met a nice German lady. <laughs> I think. Right, okay, not last night, but the night before. I was on my iPad. And I managed, in there, I managed to get just enough bars to make some changes to, to the podcast. But not enough to upload an image. It was that low, but it could, I could upload, I could change text. So I was doing a little bit there and I could also stream some music. There's someone over there. And I 
I went outside and I had my reading glasses on and I took the dog for a walk just to go to have a wee. And there was another dog there with a lady and she came over and she was like, they were, the dog, two dogs were like, you know, playing with each other and stuff. And she was really nice, but I couldn't see her because I had my higher, I had my reading glasses on, so I couldn't really see her. Plus it was dark. And then yesterday, I came out of the pub last night. It wasn't dark, but I didn't have any glasses on. And she sort of, I said, she said hello to me, and it was the same dog, but I couldn't see her. I could see she had dark hair, um, attractive, but I couldn't see her really. Well, I, don't, I couldn't see her. I couldn't really see her face. I could see that she had dark hair. And because my eyesight, without my glass, even without, uh, I'd say probably, I don't know what the distance, but I can't really make out people's faces very well. Uh, you'd have to be too far away for that. My eyesight isn't that great these days. Um, so for example, I can see the registration number and the cars, I'll give you an idea, look. That's how far the car is away. It's not very far away, is it? So I can see the registration number there. Without my eyesight, no, it's all fuzzy. So it's the same with a face. I can see, so if I'm with people, I get to know their bodies and their, their the way they walk. And so I know that it's who it is coming towards me because I can't tell from the face until they get probably maybe six foot away. Once they're six foot away, I can kind of see their face. Um, once it gets away from that, it's a bit, well, oh, okay. It might be 10 foot, I don't know, it's hard to, I don't carry a tape measure around, so wait a second. Um, I can't see your face, <laughs> I can see your face right now, but can you move back a couple of seconds? couple of inches, no, uh, yeah, just so I know, I don't know, exactly, but with my glasses on I can see pretty well, which is the point of them, isn't it really, although these glasses are falling apart, I need to get some new ones, I need to have an eye test, oh my arm is aching holding this blimmin' thing, um, I saw a picture of an old friend of mine that I hadn't seen for years, and she was, I use the word voluptuous, okay, beautiful, beautiful girl, she was 19 when I knew her, well I knew her probably 17, 18, 19, maybe 20, um, and she was, you know, she was, could have been a pin-up, like, and I see a picture of her, like, the other day on her Facebook, so slim, like, super slim, like, completely transformed, and I just wonder what, that must be really weird for the boyfriend because he's clearly with her for her personality, because he, if he was with her for how she looked, not facially, but if she looked for like how she looked, it, he wouldn't be with her. It'd be struggle because she's so different. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, so different. I'm talking, um, it would be like me turning up with lots of hair and almost like a different colour, like a completely different kind of person. And she looks so different, so different. She actually looks like her mum now, and her mum's really, really skinny, well, really, really slim. So maybe that was in her genes altogether. Maybe that's how she was gonna transform, just like I transformed from being really skinny to being like my dad, kind of more, put a bit more meat on me. <laughs> That's one way of wording it. But I was just shocked at how different she looked. 
It wasn't just the face, her body is just so slim. So slim. I've ne never seen that transformation before in a person, ever, in my life. Because she was, I don't want to say she was a big girl because that's not, she's beautiful. Everything about her was amazing. She's a beautiful person, beautiful, beautiful body, beautiful everything. So I don't want to say anything detrimental or, or wrong about her. But she looks so different. Um, it's almost like, you know, you marry Dolly Parton and, uh, or you get engaged to Dolly, Dolly Parton and then you marry Twiggy. It's kind of that difference in size. Like, I don't know, I'm just surprised. I hope she's okay. I hope she's not being ill. You know, illness could have led to that. I don't know. Or maybe surgery even. I don't know. I hope she's okay. But she's... I mean, she's she's beautiful, whatever she does. She's all over... She always have a little... little there will be a little hole in my heart for her. So, yeah. But I don't have any contact with her anymore. She's on my Facebook, but she doesn't. Uh, sometimes I'll sort of wish her a happy birthday or Christmas and she just doesn't respond. Which is fine. I don't care. Yeah, I do. I love her. <laughs> um, but that surprised me. But then I've seen that in people sometimes. Not that drastic. People can change, can't they? Apparently, there was this girl that... Well, there was a girl, this lady that I worked with. Really slim. She was the, the bombshell of the office. Just, I don't know, all the men like fancied her and stuff. I think the women wanted to be like her. She was lovely. I liked her. But apparently, she told me, she said, uh, the reason, part one of the reasons she stuck with her boyfriend is because when she was with him, she was fat like really big and he he loved her then and then she got really she lost all her weight partially probably because of him because she wanted to do but maybe she was keeping men away I, I don't know she she did tell me but I, I think I might have been eating and focusing on the television or something but she said that one of the reasons she stayed with him is because he loved her when she was ginormous. Her words, not mine. I never saw her like that. I never saw her big. But I did date a girl once that was really, really slim. And then I saw her a couple of years later and she was really big. So, but then look at me. If you met me in... 2004, I slimmed down to 11 and a half stone, right? 11 and a half. I walk around just under 16 stone now. So, that's a lot, you know, it's, that's quite a big difference. 11 and a half stone. I could put my hands down my trousers, stay with me, and there was, oh, it's flat. Okay, not down my trousers, but, you know, from my belly button down to, like, the navel or whatever. There was no fat, there was, there was just, it was, I was so slim. And then within months, I just got fat again. Because I was sitting down on my bum all day long. Little exercise, because before that I was doing, uh, what was I doing? Wing Chun Kung Fu. Uh, and I was also vegetarian, which meant I was basically pooing out everything I ate really quickly. So vegetarian diet is the best diet for me if I want to lose weight because I'm eating stuff I don't enjoy and even my stump, even my body doesn't want it in there. I was like, get this stuff out, it's horrible. Ugh. And, but then I felt weak as well. So it's a, it's a weird kind of one. But it might be worth looking into, maybe to get on a vegetarian diet to lose a bit of the fat because that's the thing, it's not about weight, it's about fat for me. It's about losing the fat. I don't care how heavy I am, really don't care. 15 stone, 16 stone, what's that? It's not heavy. It's heavy for someone my height maybe, but 
it's not heavy really if you've got some muscles and if, if you've got a bit of body, you know, if you've got um, um, I don't know. If you had, if I, if I had muscles, <laughs> if I had muscles, it wouldn't be that heavy. But it is. I am. I'm curvy. I'm very, I am voluptuous now. I'm very busty. So. I think it's time to start losing a little. Not. I don't care about weight, but but fat. Because I've been walking around in my tracksuit the last few days, I caught a sight of my ass in uh, a reflection in one of the windows and I think I might have a big ass. My ass agrees. I think I might have a big fat bum and I didn't realise it. I didn't know. But uh, the other day, I was trying to reach, there was a, a tree with apples in it. I was trying to reach the apple, but I couldn't, because it was too far up. So I got a bit disheartened and disheartened, and I just sat down on the grass. And suddenly, the tree was there. It was like banging on my head. It's like, blimey, I'm higher. My head's higher in the sky when I'm sitting down than it is when I'm standing up. Big fat ass, so I just realized. So there you go. There you go, mate. In it. <laughs> so yeah, I slept. It's weird. Going to bed. It's weird. Not having anything to do. I know that's kind of a holiday, isn't it? But I kind of like, in a way, to just be maybe drinking and doing something, you know? For me, even when I went skiing in Bulgaria or snowboarding, I'd let all the other people I was with, because I was with about four or five people, let them go to the mountains and I'd stay in the hotel drinking in the bars, talking to the waitresses and uh, the staff, and I was having a whale of a time. I was, I was having fun. They were out getting injured on the slopes. And I was I was having fun. Hi, Kissy. Um, so for me, that's that would be cool if they had some kind of a function room. And uh, I know it's not peak season at the moment, but if there was somewhere you could just there'd just be drinks and bars and food, and you know you could just. You almost don't have to go out and do anything if you've got that, you know. It's that would just be quite nice. But the bar, the pub is it's almost, you know, I said, when do you close? He said, when the staff outnumber the customers. And there's not a lot going on. The place is full as far as I, there's lots of cars and stuff. There's a swimming pool that I've not been in. But whenever I go past it, there's always people coming in and out. But I'm not going in there because I basically I don't want to get harpooned. So, yeah, I don't know what to do today. It's still cool. Haven't had it hot. Although I did feel I caught the sun a little bit on Sunday because there was sun in Lou. And it was shining on my face, on my dome. My dome. But today, it's too early to tell, but it might be a really sunny day. I didn't know. I didn't know. So, we'll just see what happens. I'm going to drink the rest of my coffee. What I decided is these are coming with me today. So, I don't have to listen to anybody talking or arguing. I can have my headphones on and just relax. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I bought them for. So when I get on the bus, I don't have to listen to people rabbiting on and whatever. Even in the supermarket, it just cuts all the noise down. 
I'm a little bit sensitive to sound or to noise. I am. Um, so it helps. I oh, know I'm weird. What can I? What can I say? I'm weird. Right, I think they're all getting up. Right, I'm gonna go. I should speak to you later. Maybe I'll do another one of these in the morning. So you take care, and I'll catch you later on. Bye bye. Bye bye.